welcome back to my channel. We have officially left Malta and we are back in Italy this time. Introducing to the Bologna train station, but they will not stop talking. So if you can hear this, welcome to Bologna train station. We are waiting for a train that goes from Bologna to Florence because it is a lot cheaper to fly into Bologna and take a train than it is to fly into Florence. We have made it to Florence and it is already so hot and humid. Maybe because I have black pants on still. I'm gonna go meet my friends, get picked up from the train station, which I never do. I always have to find the bus or the next place. So, ciao for now, train. And I'm excited for some local Italian home cooked meal lunch because I'm hungry. Good morning, friends. Welcome back to my channel. We're in Florence, Italy. Before I get started about what I'm exploring in this city and where we're going and why we're here, you need to subscribe to this channel. That makes a huge difference in how I make my content. It means that you are a great supporter of this channel and it helps me keep going. So subscribe, I'm just gonna wait. You're subscribed now, great, thank you so much. About 99% of you weren't subscribed, so I hope that that's down to like 0%. Anyway, we're in Florence, Italy because I have family friends here and I am so, so blessed to be staying with them and getting such a local taste of what Florence is about. I got a scooter ride yesterday along the cliffside in the back streets. You could say a very local experience and not in the tourist area. And today we are back on foot exploring by myself, but it is early morning. It is before 9 a.m. And the reason why we're exploring so early is because it is hot, folks. I think today's supposed to get up to 37 degrees Celsius and it's humid as well. My hair is extra like voluminous and fluffy, which I kind of like, but it's definitely warm. I'm sweating already. I've got a tank top on my skirt, which the link is for that below. Today we are going to the San Mianieto al Monto. It is a 11th century church. It is the second oldest in Florence. There's also a monastery, a cemetery for really important people like political figures some artists, poets, writers. We've got a one kilometer walk. Once I am done exploring, hopefully my friend's gonna pick me up to bring us back home because otherwise it's gonna be a long walk home. But what I wanted to mention was I'm not lost this morning so far. I'm so proud of myself because our friend said to go up the hill and turn left and I listened and I remembered and I am on the right path, remembering it from our scooter ride. So I'm pretty proud of myself. Scooter! In that last clip, I said I didn't get lost, but I did get lost, because right where I was standing, I needed to turn right, not left. But nonetheless, we're still walking. It's hot, I'm sweating, it's not even 9 a.m. <laughs> we're glistening. Can we talk about this view behind me? You can see the Duomo. No. You can see the Duomo just peeking up behind the hill. There, maybe? standing outside San Mignote al Monto, which is an 11th century Renaissance style cathedral. It is stunning inside. It has much different type of architecture and design compared to some of the Italian cathedrals I've been in, which are a little bit more luxurious in color and design. This was a little bit more symmetrical and toned colors, which I'm thinking at the time, maybe they couldn't make the colors as vibrant and as rich. The outside of the cathedral also features a very cool gold mural. The views are kind of amazing from up here. Because you have the Duomo behind you, you have the whole city. We have just 
finished at the cathedral, which is up behind me, just behind these archways and this roadway. And now we're going to walk down towards the city center, which I think is gonna take me about half an hour, but with filming and stopping a lot longer. So basically if you cross this road away from the cathedral, you can walk and there is winding streets and steps all the way down, or at least we think so, slash saw yesterday. I hope I'm going in the right direction since it took me an hour to get here this morning instead of the quick 30 minutes like it should have. I already think I'm lost, y'all. This is crazy, like... This isn't right. I think I need to go. I don't even know if I can show you. I think behind here there is a cafe and it looks like a lot more people are over there. It's more like steps, it shouldn't be a road. This is for sure a car road. So now we have to go back and cross. Now nah, we'll stay on this side of the road. Okay, thank you. We'll get the right directions for you soon. Or, folks, I could just literally look. Look, there's Cecilia de San Miniato al Monte and Piazzale Michelangelo. Why don't we just follow the signs and do as I thought and walk this way? We have now arrived at Piazza de Michelangelo, and yesterday I was here around 7 p.m. and this whole car load, this guy's gonna run over me. <laughs> this whole parking lot was full of cars inside here, so it's definitely better to come early in the morning. The reason why we're here is to go look at the statue of Michelangelo, and it was a David replication. David, it's hot, folks. <sighs> I'm melting already. up here is absolutely stunning and what I was told yesterday is a lot of these villages in the mountainside are really special for the views, for the food, for the ambiance, they're much quieter. We are up on the hillside so we're across the river of the main city center. I don't know if there's a certain direction name for that but I'll show you the river in a second and show you where we are and this is also where I'm staying is across the river which I'm really enjoying not being in the downtown and just like my New York video which I will link up here. I like staying just outside of the hustle and bustle of everything. So we can see the river here below. We are across the river right now. It's just about 10 a.m. It's getting busy. This is what I was meaning about that we start to walk in towards the city center. Just through those gates there, you can continue to walk down the hillside where cars aren't allowed. I was a dummy and forgot to bring my second camera battery. And I think the heat is kicking my camera's butt as well. So we'll catch you on the flip side when we go down these stairs and we'll catch you when we're in the city center. All right, we are now in the city center. It took maybe five minutes to walk through the Garden of Roses, which has a beautiful small cafe inside. And basically this archway behind me was maybe at one point the archway to the city. It is really only meant for pedestrians from certain hours. Obviously we see some cars come through in scooters. Yesterday I came through on a scooter. So now we are in the city center. The plan is to go see Santa Cruz, which is another famous cathedral and also piazza or, or place. I guess in English we would call it like a courtyard or an area or square, a square. Maybe get some water because I'm sweating. Have I told you how much I'm sweating? <laughs> Anyway, let's keep exploring until my camera dies. I was mistaken. We are in the city now, but we need to cross the river to get technically to the center of Florence. And you can instantly see we are surrounded still by greenery with the river, but it's starting to become less and less greenery compared to the hillside or just outside of city center, which is, I think, pretty typical for any major city. It smells delicious here, though. I am currently on an antihistamine because it smells so good because the flowers are in full bloom and the trees and everything is so luscious, but that also means a lot more pollen in the air and I can feel my eyes and nose just so itchy. Thank you, Allergy Medicine, for being created.
We have just arrived to the famous Santa Cruz church. I was told is really busy right now in this center part. We just walked past all this construction and these risers being built because there is a historical football, or as in Canada, we would call soccer game happening. Kind of um, an eyesore to this beautiful church behind us. But apparently there is three games and the last one inc includes Florence and is gonna be a massive party. Probably mostly men crazy Italian men in this courtyard screaming for a ball getting kicked around. What I'm really admiring is the impeccable detail work on the whole building, the door, everything. I feel here how busy Florence is as a tourist attraction and again we're city center so everyone seems to be down here they're trying to avoid the heat this afternoon so my tip is to stay outside of the city center and it's a quick walk into town of course depending where you're staying I think for now I'm actually gonna take a seat because I am toasty but I'm also proud of myself because I did not look up where Santa Cruz was I used my instinct and also follow basically all the tourists to this courtyard it's not open though I'm gonna check out why so it does seem to be open, but I quickly just checked their website. They even have an official app. That's how serious they are. <laughs> but it looks like it's about nine euros to enter. And you know, you have to make choices, but I was told that the Duomo is very worth going to the top. So I think I will, when I arrive home and I'm hiding from the heat, we'll look to try and book tickets to enter the Duomo. We are going to end my day one Florence vlog here. We are just behind the Santa Cruce church and my camera's gonna die so that's why we're ending today's vlog and also i'm gonna be picked up soon by my friend on the vespa which i'm super thankful for to not have to walk back up the stairs to the other side of the river where we are staying and now i'm going to go find water because i've drank one liter of water already because i think i have sweat that much out in about two hours time the humidity here is unreal you gotta stay hydrated friends we've got more days to explore so time to go find some water, maybe a treat, and we'll catch you tomorrow when we explore again. If you haven't subscribed yet watching this, it's the end of the video. So it's a uh, time to subscribe, like, and you know what, better yet, buy me a coffee. I have a link below, it's a way to support my channel, but honestly, I do drink a lot of coffee, one or two every day. And so if you are open to buying me a coffee on my travel, it would mean a lot, your support. Toasty. Today we're going to somewhere. Cathedral to look. There is so many scooters. Oh my god, the cutest puppy. I don't know how much longer I can do this.